darating yung time na you can no longer depend on your active income. Gaming day! Welcome back to my channel. You are in the right place because this channel aims to provide basic and easy to understand financial and investment concepts so I can help millennial titas and titas like you bloom in your financial journey. In today's video, I will share to you the difference between an active income and a passive income. Also, in this video, very exciting because later I will be announcing the lucky winner for my first ever giveaway. But if you want to learn how to increase your income through passive or active income, then keep on watching. Now let's dive right into it. First, let's start with active income. So very familiar and very common tayo with this kind of income because 95% of the world's population is earning under active income. So basically, this refers to the income we create or we earn from being literally active, meaning we are working to earn money. Perfect example nito is the salary of employees. Whether you are in rank and file, supervisory, managerial, whether you are the director or the president of the company, you fall under this active income because you are dedicating your time, your skills, your effort to work for a company. Also, another example is the commissions real estate brokers and insurance advisors get because they can't earn money when they don't prospect, when they don't close deals, when they don't service their clients. Another example is professional fees of doctors, dentists, accountants, lawyers, and other professionals because in exchange of the earnings they get, they dedicate their expertise in their respective industry and their talents and skills as well. Most of the time, we are in our comfort zone when we are earning our active income. Perfect example of this is when I was still employed in one of the top companies in the Philippines. I felt like it was my comfort zone because I know I can earn my salary every month by dedicating my time, my skills, my expertise in my work and in my craft. Now let's discuss passive income. According to our friend Investopedia, passive income is earnings derived from a rental property, limited partnership, or other enterprise in which a person is not actively involved. So meaning, nag-earn sila ng something Pero, wala silang ginagawa. But, not everyone has this passive income. Because, believe it or not, only 5% of the world's population have this kind of income. Creating this second kind of income requires a bit of risk because you're gonna need to invest into something. Or you may need to trust the system to let your money work for you. Examples of passive income is first, stock dividends. So these are the earnings you get when you are invested to a certain company or sa stock market. Feel free to check out this video as I share the basics that you need to know about the stock market. Second example of passive income is royalties. So these are the earnings that usually authors or composers get because they let someone use their idea or their composition. Yun yan. Another example is rentals. I mentioned in this video that if you loan for a property with the intention of future rentals, then that future earnings you get is considered as passive income. Another example of passive income is capital gains, either from your land or your stock investments. Marami pang ways on how you can earn passive income. Another example is through affiliate marketing. So you're gonna need to partner with an establishment or company that offers affiliate programs. Ito yung mga nakikita nyo sa mga influencers, sa mga sikat na vloggers, who are partnering up with different companies for a certain code that you can use to get a discount if you want to buy their product or service. So when you use their code, you earn a certain percentage from that. Hindi ako familiar kung how much yung percentage na yon because I haven't tried affiliate marketing Pero, baka naman, <laughs> baka naman merong gustong magpatry sa akin ng affiliate marketing. <laughs> joke. Not joke. <laughs> Another example of passive income is network marketing. Well, basically, you are joining a company that already has an established system and makikiride ka lang dun sa system na yon to build your business. 
Robert Kiyosaki mentioned in his book, The Cash Flow Quadrant, this network marketing. So, isa daw tong network marketing as one of the three business systems that you can have. This is a good and controversial topic, so I want you to hit the subscribe button as I share on my future videos these three kinds of business systems. My last example of passive income is cash back applications. So, kung naririnig yun na yung shop back and rebate mango. So these are some passive income. Although maliit lang yung percentage, but at least kapag ka nag-shopping ka, let's say Shopee or Lazada or other partner brands or store nila, you get a rebate from your purchase. So that's an example of another passive income. So ayan, medyo napahaba lang tayo sa passive income, but I really want to emphasize passive income because you can create your second source of income aside dun sa active income mo, di ba? Through this, different kinds of passive income. So I hope meron kayong napulot na bago with the passive income. But, disclaimer lang, passive income is not built overnight. So hindi siya quick rich scheme. So again, you have to plant seeds for this passive income today so that you can earn it in the future. Again, it's not built overnight. It's built over time. If you already have two or three passive income today, congratulations! Because you already planted seeds yesterday. But again, continuously plant seeds to improve your passive income. So that in the future, darating yung time na you can no longer depend on your active income. Instead, yung passive income mo na yung bubuhay sa'yo. If this video adds value to you, share some love by liking this video. Kasi the more likes pala ang isang video, the more napapansinin siya ng YouTube algorithm to be shared more to millennials like you. Also, I want you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as I share on my next video more ways on how to create passive income. Now, if you still want to continue watching this video, please do so as I announce the lucky winner for my giveaway! <laughs> So two weeks ago, I started a giveaway promo for you guys for making me hit 100 Cutie Pie subscribers. <laughs> right now, we're in around 140, I think, the last time I checked. Because in this channel, we want to celebrate small wins and big wins with you guys. And again, the lucky winner will receive this free book by Brother Bo Sanchez entitled How My Need Became a Millionaire which literally jumpstart my investing journey in the stock market. So without further ado, let's roll the roulette! Congratulations to Mr. Ronel Bernados for winning this free book to be delivered to your home for free. So make sure you contact me through the comment section below so that I could get your details. Also, I'd like to share your blessings to every your blessing to everyone, which is blessings sa akin for this year is having a job despite the situation and mostly learning on how to manage my finances and how to invest in the stock market. Good job, Ronel, and I hope you continue to invest in yourself and to be a blessing to others as well. I'm so grateful to everyone who joined my first ever giveaway. Thank you for commenting down your biggest blessing this year in the comment section. Again, please continue to count your blessings and be a blessing to others. This is Daisy, and please don't forget to bloom where you are planted. I'll see you on my next videos. Bye guys! Hindi ako familiar kung how much is that dog you know? <laughs>